Very important, and Rich Thaw and Leah are back in our studios. Welcome uh, back, guys. Thanks for having us. Time to get outside to run. Temperatures are getting better, but there is a proper way to run, and a lot of people sometimes are not paying enough attention to what they're doing. Oh yeah, for sure. A lot of people usually, when they're running, they find that their back gets tight. We often get complaints of hips very, get very tight, and their neck, oddly enough, gets very tight. Of course. And this happens most of the time when people run. It's not really like a full range of motion. They only pick mm. their knees up here, and okay. they're really kind of pushing off this way, and this thing kind of happens. Oh, and then your back starts oh, tightening yeah. up. Oh yeah, not only that, but so they don't pick their knees up all the way, so this okay. kind of jacks up a little bit. They're pulling themselves forward, and they're pulling themselves forward with here, and they're doing one of those. Oh boy. So first thing is is seeing that there's a problem, okay. and realizing that there is there could be a potential issue. You're going so, to demonstrate something exactly. that people can also do at home uh, before that you start running just to see which muscles are firing up. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So you can have, I mean, you can't really do this yourself. You have a, a good friend of yours. So okay. you're going to put one finger on the hamstring, one on the bum, and then All one right. on the low back. And Leia's going to pick this leg up just like this here, right? And then relax and kind of shake it out, give it a second, and do it again. And so doing that, you want to make sure that your back doesn't start tightening up, right? Exactly. So which, what I'm feeling here is the back firing first, then the hamstring, and sometimes no butt at all. Okay. So Leia's le yes, perfect. We have the butt's firing first, then the hamstring and the back a little bit there. But what mostly happens is the back, the hamstring, no butt, or hamstring, back, okay. and still no butt. So key word is your butt has to fire first when you start running. Absolutely. Okay, you're going to show us a few exercises as well. Yeah, so to shut down all that tone, to shut down your, your body using the back all the time, we okay. use an exercise like this where she has kind of like her sit bones on the box, so she's like really Round rounding your back, back exactly. a little bit. Okay. She's reaching forward over the box right here. And okay. as she reaches, she's going to breathe out, breathing right. out right there. And then she inhales into my hand. You so at the top right of top of sort of in between your shoulder blades, you want that to stretch exactly. out. You want to round out all this stuff. Okay. And that just tells your back just to be quiet. Stop working so much. Right. Right. But so once we've communicated to our body that, okay, shut down that back tone, that back tightness, mm -hmm. then we can go on and get the butt working. We can teach the body, okay, now this doesn't work anymore, that the back doesn't work anymore. Okay. We can now use the butt. Perfect. Right. So what's the next exercise now to get your Get your glutes firing. Exactly, the glutes firing. <laughs> hip lift, classic hip lift. Which is so. a simple one. It, again, I love it because you come, people can do these exercises at home before they head out. Yeah, exactly. Super okay. simple. Grab a step, grab something else. It's very simple to sit right. on. So, a little pelvic tilt. Right, we got those ribs nice and down. We're going to drive those heels through the floor. Okay. Bum comes up, hips go to the ceiling. So, you feel that butt squeeze. Hold That's one, right. 1,000, two, 1,000. Come on down. To make this even harder, let's just take one leg off. Same pelvic tilt, same ribs down, like abs on type of thing. Of course. Bum up. All right. Boom. Listen, uh, everything, people are ready to run now. Next time you come on, which is a couple weeks from now, we're going to look at a, a warm up, which is very important as well uh, before you get out there to run and do the Absolutely. exercise properly. Absolutely, yeah. It'll be All the right. continuation to this. Perfect. And should people do these things every single time that uh, they go out running? Yeah, we're creatures of habit. So the more you do this, the more you teach your body, okay, don't use your back, use your butt. So okay. you got to do it over and over and over until you really do learn that, oh, my back's not going to hurt anymore. Rich, Leah, thank you so much. People are ready to run now and be healthy doing so as well.